thanks for tuning in to Duo County's Channel 2 for this month's episode of Plated Up Kentucky Proud. Hi, I'm Kelly Boniford, the Adair County Extension Agent for Family Consumer Sciences. And I'm Pam York, and I'm the Russell County Family Consumer Science Agent. Today we're going to be talking about or showing the stuffed zucchini boats. Mm. This is uh, featuring, of course, zucchini, and um, that is a vegetable that is very much in abundance in the summer, and sometimes we don't know what to do with all of it. Right. Z squash. And of course, zucchini is a type of squash, and then mm -hmm. um, we have other types as well in the garden. Uh, and this is a summer squash. Yes, it is a summer squash. So um, the first thing you do is um, you have um, some, ch we have chicken cut up, we have onions, and we're gonna fix that, fry that in a skillet. And then we're going to uh, show the procedure on how to cut and make the boats. Okay. So we have um, one, use one pound of chicken cut up. And, and I just use the chicken breast and uh, cut up in like one inch pieces. And then um, we have the onion, a half a cup of chopped onion. And so we'll just let that cook while uh, we show how to cut and make the little boat. Okay. In order to make the zucchini boat, you uh, cut a small little sliver off from the bottom and that way it can lay flat on the cutting board. You don't need to cut it. Uh, very much off, just a little bit. And then we're going to cut the whole zucchini in half. And it's good to cut it in the middle as much as possible. And sometimes that is not easy to do. Once you get the zucchini cut in half, take a spoon, and this is a large tablespoon, and just kind of go around and make a little small indention around the zucchini and you uh, do not scoop out um, all the way to the bottom because you need to leave part of your bottom in so that your filling uh, will stay in there. And the more times that you do this, it does get easier, but it does help a lot if you will just use a spoon and make you a little guide. And then you can just, because you want to get all the seeds out and kind of make a mess, that's okay. Zucchini is just so low in calories and, um, and one of those vegetables that is really good for us. And you don't want to peel it because that has all the nutrients exactly. in the peeling. You don't exactly. want to peel your summer squash. No, you leave the peeling on. So you're gonna do the same thing. And here in a moment, when we get the filling made, we'll fill them up. But you do pre, uh, preheat your oven to 350, and you do uh, pre-bake these um, mm. empty, the empty boats. Okay. Because you do bake them for 15 minutes. And if they're pretty large zucchinis, it may take a little bit longer okay. than 15 minutes. And I'm just using a uh, brush, a silicone brush, and a little bit of, of um, oil to uh, spread on here so that whenever they bake, they won't dry out. So we're gonna be ready to put these in the oven. And we have some that um, we can actually take out of the oven. Okay. Um, we're gonna make a switch, Kelly, and you bring the um, zucchini boats okay. over here and I'm gonna move this cutting board out of the way. Okay. And I'll just set this This here. is very hot. It's okay. Now, we have um, a couple of the zucchini boats already cooked. So here in a moment, we will, um, if you want to drain the okay. chicken, and then we'll be ready to finish up the filling and fill these up. And we will be, um, you do put the uh, boats back in the oven just long enough uh, to melt the cheese and to cook the egg because it does have a raw egg in it. So when, when you finish up with the chicken, we're gonna put it in this bowl and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. We have uh, one egg beaten that I'll go ahead and put in. And it takes three-fourths a cup of marinara sauce and um, 
spaghetti sauce works wonderful. Uh, you can buy it in the store where it says marinara, or you can just buy the one that says just uh, spaghetti sauce. Okay, and it takes one teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a fourth a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, and we'll get, put You're the chicken. chicken. We're ready for the chicken. Okay. Be careful, this is hot. And we're going to just um, mix all of these ingredients up. We want to keep all those onions mm -hmm. because onion, onion adds a lot of flavor. Yes. But you just mix the cooked chicken, mix all this up really, really good. That looks really good. This is a really good, um, really, really good recipe. And easy too. Yeah, very easy. And then you just take and start filling the little boats. I bet you could make this filling up ahead of time mm -hmm. and then have it in the refrigerator and then add it to your boat. Sure can. That would be really good and the flavors would just blend perfectly. The spices actually mm -hmm. would blend. And we like to do things it's really pretty. ahead of time, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, it makes a lot life of, easier. A lot of people likes to do that. So if you were going to serve this um, tonight mm -hmm. for you know, dinner, you could actually make your filling up the day yeah. before, the night before, and just stick it in the refrigerator. So that is all there is to it. And then okay. we will put the zucchini boats back in the okay. oven. And I think you bake them uh, an additional five to 10 minutes. Oh, okay. You want to grab the pot holders? We, well, yes, we, we, <laughs> we do need to put the cheese on, don't we? Yes, cheese makes everything taste better. Yes, it makes it much better. But this is a really good, um, very good recipe. And the recipe does call for uh, four medium zucchinis, mm -hmm. but for um, what we're doing here today, we're just showing one zucchini, but we do right. have enough filling to go ahead and fill several mm -hmm. more. Right. So you can go ahead and put this in the oven and okay. we'll leave that in there another five to 10 minutes. Okay. And then the zucchini boats will be ready to eat. Okay. I think the stuffed zucchini boats is baked long enough. You want to get those out and we'll sure. take a look at those. Uh, when you're making this recipe, make sure that you do bake the uh, zucchini boats with the filling in the oven for a total of 15 to 20 minutes, depending upon your oven, because you do want to bake it long enough that you know for sure that your egg has, right. has cooked, because right. it does have a raw egg in there. So we are ready to Ooh, yum. Cut, Can't wait. cut these and try them. Okay. And this is technically probably enough for maybe mm -hmm. two people for one big long boat. So um, we'll just mm -hmm. take and cut a piece before yeah. we try to transfer it. Oh, definitely. You could also use um, the little um, straight summer squash and use mm -hmm. the same filling. And I think you could also do a, um, uh, the filling and use um, a different type of meat even if True. you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I mean, oh, our yeah. uh, recipes are pretty versatile. Mm -hmm. So. That makes it fun. It is. Okay, it's very, very hot. It looks good. I can't Take wait to try this. And give it a try. Yummy. Mm. And again, um, that cooking time of your zucchini mm -hmm. um, is is really needed. Yeah, to, that's true. Because the, the re it's really mm -hmm. really firm. Mmm. Smells really good. And you want oh good aroma. Your boat to be. Um, crunchy, okay. you know, firm and a little bit crunchy, but um, that cheese, melted cheese on that uh, mm -hmm. top makes it wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the chicken has a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. You taste the garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Garlic and onions always adds a lot of flavor. And I think if you do the filling up a day ahead, 
That would make it even better because the flavors would just blend. The spices yes. and everything that's would just a, blend. Yeah, that's a really good point. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, this is the stuffed zucchini boats. Mm -hmm. And I think next we're going to be seeing a recipe dealing with summer corn and couscous salad. Mm -hmm. And uh, Margie's going to share that with us. Cool.